It's springtime, and that means planting season is just around the corner. But I'm not talking about planting today. Instead, I'm talking about a grain trailer. <laughs> Silly, right? Isn't harvest over? Yes, harvest is over, but hauling in corn and beans continues long after harvest season comes to an end. Most large acreage grain farmers store their crops on site in their own grain storage bins, which is very convenient for hauling the grain in from the field to the storage bin. However, it then requires the farmer to haul the beans or corn at a later date to the elevator for shipment onto the mill to be processed into something yummy for us to eat. Usually, this is done throughout the late winter and spring of the following year. Hopefully, all is shipped out before the next fall, harvest season begins, or the farmer might just have a small storage problem, or a rather large one. This hauling grain off the farm grain bin site to the elevators is where the grain trailer comes back into play. Today, the most preferred grain trailer in North America is the Wilson Pace Setter. The Pace Setter is designed to give premium performance when and where you need it, whether running grain up and down the highway or in and out of the field. You can count on the Pace Setter to handle the job flawlessly. Pace Setter grain trailers are engineered to maximize even weight distributions from steer axle to rear trailer axle. This builds confidence in handling your best payload and with bulk commodity transportation, every ounce counts. So even weight distribution is key. Like the Pace Setter's older brother, the Commander Grain Trailer, the Pace Setter comes standard with the original roller trap. For more on the Commander Grain Trailer, See my video with the link down below. The roller trap is the industry's easiest to use trap opener since 1996. It is lightweight, trouble free, and requires very low maintenance. For small or large grain farmers, there is a pace setter grain trailer to suit. Pace setters start out at a short 34 foot length and go all the way out to 53 feet long. Also, they are available in either 96 inch or 102 inch widths to suit whatever roads your farm is on. Sides from 66 inches all the way up to 114 inches. With these multiple sizes available, it is a guarantee that the pace setter perfectly suited for you can be ordered from Wilson Trailer Manufacturing. Also, the pace setters come standard equipped with electric roll tarps. That makes covering up your grain so much easier. To facilitate easy emptying of the grain into the lower trap, the trailer is fitted with two structurally integrated lower two-piece hoppers with extruded aluminum corners. The hoppers have 39 and a quarter degree slopes on the sides and 33 and a half degree slopes on the front and rear. Also, the two hoppers are divided equally by a hopper center divider, not only making unloading easier, but also making weight distribution easier. With these multiple sizes available, it is a guarantee that a pace setter perfectly suited for you can be ordered from Wilson Trailer Manufacturing. To facilitate easy emptying of grain into the lower trap, the trailer is fitted with two structurally integrated lower two-piece hoppers with extruded aluminum corners. The hoppers have 39 and one quarter degree slopes on the sides and 33 and one half degree slopes on the front and rear. Also, the two hoppers are divided equally by the hopper center divider, not only making unloading easier, but also making weight distribution 
easier. The hopper traps are 27 inches by 31 inches for faster unloading. Each trap is open and closed mechanically using rollers and twin sets of flexible belts with a removable crank on the driver's side. These are the famous roller traps and the industry's finest trap opener. With all those standard equipment and sizes available, why would you even look at another grain trailer? A Wilson Pace Setter is out there for your farm. Let's head on down to the rock quarry and talk about one of the few 34-foot Wilson Pace Setter grain trailers released. And this is the Kenworth T800 pulling a Wilson 34-foot Pace Setter grain trailer. The cab is in black and the trailer is in black. It's a really, really nice matched set. The item number on this guy is 60-0946. And there it is out of the package. It's a 164 scale die cast replica. Now, since this video is all about the pace setter grain trailer, let's start off with it and set the tractor aside. Now, mind you, there haven't been many runs of this Wilson 34 foot trailer made. Most of them have all been the 45. So, this is a really, not the easiest trailer to find, but it looks really good on your layout. Perfect for the smaller farm that hauls. Perfect for the smaller carpet farm. It has 10 hole chrome rear wheels, soft rubber tires under it, screw down landing gear. You can see the black sides and it has the DOT striping running down the side. There is marker lights in the DOT striping. Wilson trailer logo tampo there and marker lights there. Also, there is warnings on the landing gear and warnings down here on the hoppers. You go underneath so you can see those hoppers. It has first gear right there, it's by Asta, Iowa, tampo way up on the frame. Kingpin here and then it has the famous roller traps that open up. You see the cranks where the crank handles would go. It doesn't actually have crank handles, but there's where the cranks are that make the hoppers work. So if you do put grain into these things or anything else, I found a perfect product that actually mimics grain really well. And make sure you close the traps first. <laughs> Otherwise, your grain will really just run straight out. Tandem axle rears with working suspension. It has air brake canisters on the axles. Round on the back here, Wilson trailer logo tampoed up there. Redundant extra brake lights, top and down the bottom, so that you can really see these trailers. Marker lights, marker lights. It has the ladder here with an extra step down here and a little catwalk there. Wilson trailer is great for these. It has a chrome back piece as well. Lots of little warning tampos here, Wilson trailer logo. Then it has mud flaps here that are black with the chrome diamond weights at the bottom. Real, real good job that they did decking this guy out. Passenger side looks just like the driver's side. See how the suspension works on the rear axles and DOT striping and all the other stuff. Round to the front, chrome front, you can see me reflected in it. Isn't that wonderful? I, chrome is just... I love chrome and I hate chrome at the same time. Wilson trailer logo, lots of little warnings here, ladder and a catwalk so you can climb up in it. Also on the passenger side, it has these little hooks so that you could roll the tarp into it. Now on top, you can see the cloth tarp, and you can, uh, which is really sharp. It shows the rib, roof bows and looks more like the real ones. It also can come apart and roll in like the real ones you can make these guys roll up. It takes a little effort, but it does roll up inside. And then you could latch it in place. I always find it's not worth the effort. Just flip the thing over. Inside, you can see all the rivet detail on the side walls going down to the traps. Right now I've got the traps closed. And there it is with the traps open, you can see it clean through. So make sure you have them closed if you put anything inside. Also, you can see the roof, roof bows that hold up the uh, tarps when the tarp is folded over. And also, one other thing inside, you can see the center divider, which helps with multiple things. It helps 
with the keeping the trailer loaded you could actually haul two different uh, types of grain with this if you really wanted to but it also keeps and helps with your uh, load balancing to keep your trailer balanced out and your weight distributed evenly set this aside and we'll talk about that tractor this is the diecast promotions kenworth t800 tractor this was a heavy duty tractor for kenworth and it was replaced by the t880 but this is the t800 set back front axle chrome steps chrome fuel tanks chrome def tank chrome stacks and chrome mirrors also there's a chrome grab bar door handle tampoed in silver kenworth instead of the kenworth logo these had kenworth written out on the side and it's a nice tampo turn signals mounted up on the box style up on the fenders and then we'll turn towards the front you can see the bent corner on the front bumper to for the setback front axle then individual jewel style rectangular headlights in there chrome bumper uh, white tampos for the driving lights down in the bumper chrome grill and a big white and a big red kenworth logo tampoed in the center of the grill these had a real steep slope to their hoods and then for the driver's visibility inside black high back seats and black dashboard black steering wheel black interior also see the nice chrome mirrors chrome visor with the roof clearance lights tampoed in up on top dual exhaust on this guy and dual air horns and then you can see it has the sunroof for the cab day cab configuration deck plate back there with pogo stick and airlines on it quarter fenders chrome did a nice job back kenworth branded mud flaps with diamond weights on the bottom brake lights backup lights dot striping all the necessary details really really good underneath differentials drive shafts air brake canisters working suspension soft rubber tires with nice tread patterns chrome wheels front has positionable steering not true steering it just clicks in place one way or the other still looks good you can shut it turned or straight and it has an opening hood detailed engine everything you would expect really 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 nice truck they did a great job over to the passenger side here last little feature it does have the window and that's a hard plastic window as, as are the front and rear windows on the cab and then it has a little mirror so the driver can see what's beside it they did a great job on this truck now let's hook him all up and here we go my friends that is the diecast promotions kenworth t800 day cab tractor in black pulling a wilson 34 foot pace setter grain trailer in black with a black tarp and chrome ends a really sharp set and one of the few releases of this 34 foot trailer for us carpet farmers diecast promotions is just as varied as wilson for making a pace setter to suit our carpet farm's needs. DCB has made several different Wilson pace setters over the years. They started out with releasing the most common Wilson pace setter of all. The 45 foot long, 66 inch high, standard size pace setter. Later on, a 45 foot long, 72 inch high size pace setter was released for the carpet farm who needed to haul just a little bit more. Then, for the large corporate carpet farmer, DCP released a 50 foot long spread axle or triaxle pace setter. This trailer will really suit your large carpet farm's needs. The last Wilson pace setter released is a 34 foot long, 66 inch high pace setter. This trailer is perfect for these small carpet farms with only a few dozen acres to plant in corn or beans. Also, since the number of smaller farms are being phased out, even on the carpet, there were not many runs made of this trailer. So be on the lookout to get one for your collection and help keep the small family carpet farms alive. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. 
I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.